الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب الصحابة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين were chosen by Allah Azza wa Jal to be the companions of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and as believers in Allah and His Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and followers of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam we love the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and I wanted to read a very short statement about the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een from Shaykh Sa'ad al-Shitri hafadhullahu ta'ala one of the ulama in Mamlaka Ta'arabiya to Saudiya in Saudi Arabia and it's a, just a nice statement the Sheikh was mentioning so that way we can understand something about the Sahaba. So please listen to this statement about the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. He said, Hafizullah ta'ala, Wa ashabu Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qad asamuhum Allah idha ajtami'u. فقد اسمهم الله من الخطا حينئذ ولا يمكن ان يقع منهم اجماع على الباطل او خطا وصحابه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم هم افضل الامه بعد نبيها صلى الله عليه وسلم كما ورد في الحديث ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال خير خير أمتي قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم رواه بخاري ومسلم أيها الأحباب the sheikh said that the companions of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that Allah preserved them what did Allah do? He preserved them. He preserved who? Who are we talking about? Allah preserved the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. So listen. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserved them and protected them that, that when they had a consensus, meaning that they agreed upon something. So when the Sahaba agreed upon something, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected them from mistakes. And uh, at this point, Allah protected the Sahaba from mistakes when they were united upon an issue. Anything that the Sahaba was united upon, they it did not unite upon mistakes. And then the Shaykh said, Allah Ta'ala, he said, and it is not possible that you could that you could find or that they would agree upon something, have a, con uh, a consensus on something in falsehood or as a mistake. So whenever the Sahaba agreed upon something, could they could they agree upon a mistake? No. Could they agree upon something that was false, battle? No. Jazakallah khairan. And that is because that they form the uh, foundation of Ahl Sunnah. What is, who's the foundation of Ahl Sunnah? Where does it come from? From the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. They're the asl of the jama'ah. Because the Prophet sallallahu said in many ahadith about the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. For example, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa rashidin al mahdin. He said, It's upon you my sunnah, or cling to my sunnah. And the, and the sunnah of the khulafa rashidin. Who are the khulafa rashidin? Do you guys know? Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. Those are the Khulafa al-Rashidin. They are the rightly guided Khalifat. Those four Khalifat are the rightly guided Khalifat of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that we should adhere to their sunnah. 
along with his sunnah, alayhi salatu wasalam. So then the Shaykh said, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he said, and the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are the best of the Ummah. Who's the best of the Ummah? After, of course, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Sahaba. And the Khalifa, they have even a higher status, meaning those, those Sahaba, because they were the best of the Sahaba. The Sahaba have different levels. And those best of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, is of course, who first? Abu Bakr, then? Umar, radiallahu ta'ala ah, and then? Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala and then? Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, jazakallah khairan, naam. And then, after that, the Shaykh mentioned the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that's in uh, Bukhari and Muslim, where the Prophet وسلم, said, the best of my nation, so the Prophet وسلم, said this in a hadith, he said, the best of my nation is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. And that's an authentic hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. Where's that hadith? Bukhari and Muslim. And, and what does it mean? What does it, what does it say? The best, the best of my nation. Yeah, the best of my nation is those people of my generation. Then those who come after them. Then those who come after them, or the next generation, the next generation. And that's the Sahaba, Rudi Allah Taala Anu Majmain, is the best. Then after them, we have the Tabi'in, Jazakallah Khair, and then we have the Itba' Tabi'in, and that's what makes up the Salaf. When someone says Salafi or the Salaf of this Ummah, they're talking about. Uh, that they adhere, if they say they are Salafi, that means that they are trying to follow the minhaj, the methodology, the understanding in creed, the understanding in aqidah, in dawah, and fiqh of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, and the first three generations. And if they and if they refer to the Salaf, if you read a book and it says the Salaf, like you're going to read Lamia, in that, when it talks about the Salaf, it's talking about the Sahaba, the Tabi'een with Ba'a Tabi'een. Jazakallah khairan, Allah yubarak feek. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with amnafi, rizkin tayyibu, 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 amnaf